Hi everybody and welcome to Enlightened Tower. Thank you very much for coming over to watch this video. Hope everyone's okay and uh, doing well and being happy. Um, today I'm looking at messages for Divine Feminine because we are on the 1st of September 2021. So I'm looking at Divine Feminine messages. If there's going to be anything useful, anything that's really going to help us on our journey. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to shuffle this angel deck here. And let's ask for divine guidance for the divine feminine from the 1st of September going forward from today. Any messages that are going to be helpful for divine feminine right now? Anything that we need to know? Let's stop it here. Let's have a look at this. So we've got the star card here. The star card number 17. Archangel Jophiel. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans and on the right path. You write on track, Divine Feminine, which is great news because that's where we want to be. I'm just being told by guides that we are doing really really well on our path and that everybody's on the right track everybody is right on track on their path of where they are supposed to be so the star card is really all about balance um as you can see these two cups which i've probably mentioned in a previous video the two cups are showing that things are starting to flow much better for divine feminines it has been a long road and it's still somewhat you know a long road because it is still a process and we're all still learning but the star card is all about better flow a happier flow and um being much more optimistic i know that i am as a divine feminine being a lot happier with things still going through some um i'd say some challenges there are some uh, triggers being put out there for me right now and um i did try to control my reaction but, you know, sometimes you just have to say what you have to say. <laughs> so, you know, some of it did come out. But I think the challenge that I went through just in the last few days was very challenging. So I'm a lot more relaxed today. But I think it's helped release a lot of old stuff, a lot of old wounds. And it just needed to, to come out vocally, I think, for me. So right on track here have a look at the next one the night of fire a sudden event that needs immediate attention time is of the essence think things through carefully so the night of fire what am i feeling with this i am feeling like from what i've just gone through in the last few days and i'm feeling quite a few feminines are going through this is that old triggers you know stuff from past are coming up and so i feel that this is um something to be looked at something to be tackled so that you can start to release a lot of that energy that has been building over a long period of time i mean for me this trigger has come up over um has come up since i would say 20 years ago it started and it's come up now you know, it just needed to come out because at the time I kind of kept quiet, didn't say much, kept taking the negative energy. Um, and this is from a certain person, kept taking it and taking it and taking it and, and keeping quiet, not saying a word, not giving any kind of, <clears throat> not giving anything um, back. So basically non-reactive, non-reactive. So when it did come out i actually did feel much better for it so it was releasing that you know truth um from the throat chakra it was releasing all of that energy and i feel so much more relieved with it so possibly you're going through this as well this you know the triggers and releasing that so the next one here is a page of fire um this message here is saying news of an exciting new adventure use your originality and ingenuity 
So something new is coming in, an opportunity, something exciting, something to be looking at and considering. It could be a change in your works, feminine. It could be a change in relationships, but it's something better. It's something better. Personally, it could be just something changing within you. So this is these are all good cards we're getting, you know. There's two fire cards, a star card. It's all about balance uh, for us feminines right now. So, you know, exciting things are going on here. Triggers and then exciting energy coming in. The nine of fire. So we've got three fires so far, feminines. This message here is saying, do not give up. Um, protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself, feminines. You know, um, it really is all about belief because when you do believe in you, you know, nothing can stop you. You get through your challenges better because you're connected in with self because you are putting all of that belief in you. You you trust what you want. You trust what you are doing. You know, you've, you've come a long way, like I said. You have really tackled issues. You really tackled some challenges. And some of you may have been dealing with challenges with family. I know I have um, friends, uh, colleagues, um issues within yourself you know it's it's tackling things and you've got through them so you know us feminines we're pretty strong and pretty um tough i would say quite resilient it's um it's been a long haul it really has and i think to to get these three fire cards is showing me that us feminines do have a lot of courage and we're still strong through it you know, you've got this strong energy of this female standing tall, you know, tackling, tackling. You can see here the picture of there's like a dragon here. Tackling the challenges and facing them um, with less fear, because a lot of feminines have released a lot of fear or at least in the process of it and becoming much better. I would say I am less fearful. I would say 80, 85% of me is in less fear, which is like a big deal for me. Um, there was a lot of fears with a lot of things, but I have been facing them and not being too scared, or too frightened to, to speak up and speak my truth. It's taken such a long time though. And I have had those moments where I felt quite down about it because I couldn't speak my truth. And just recently has been coming out so again you know well done to us uh, feminines for really getting through that and well done to all of you for being on this really hard journey as divine feminines um who hold a lot of power within uh, when you start to really believe in you and find you that's when everything starts to open up for you for the better which is just so good i mean this star card here you can see it's a beautiful card it's about flow it's about balance feminine so look at that energy card and really hone into that really take that energy from this beautiful card of the star you have come a long way i'm just going to actually use this other deck the nature's whispers deck i'm just going to shuffle any more messages for feminines from the 1st of September 2021. If anything that Divine Feminine needs to know, anything extra, please bring the energy through for Divine Feminine. Anything that we need to know right now. Let's have a look here. Can you see that, Feminines? You are worth it. You are so worth it. Completely worth it. What a beautiful card. I'm just going to prop that there. Hopefully it's going to stay. And I'm just going to grab the deck. Sorry, not the deck, the book. Uh, oh, and it's just opened exactly on 23. I'm going to read you this. You are worth it. The only way you can accept, respect and cherish others is by accepting, respecting and cherishing you. Accept praise and credit when it is given to you. When you learn to be accepting, you allow your true potential to blossom. Other, sorry, when you see yourself in this light, 
Other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value. As you strive toward more self-love each day, you will find yourself infused with new energy. It is okay to walk away from relationships that minimize or hurt you. Enjoy and love who you are. Um, that is such a beautiful message, Feminines. That is amazing. Um, it's saying here, you claim your worth and reflect that light to others. How beautiful is that? This is, you are worth it. You really are. And just remember that, Feminines. Just remember that you are worth it. We've all had our challenges. We've all had our triggers. But you must remember that you are always worth it. You are always, you know, a beautiful energy that you should not forget the love and the light that sits inside of you. So always remember that you are worth it every day. Wake up and say the affirmation of, I am worth it. I am beautiful. I am of love and I am of light. And I want to shine that light on other people. Even if those people are giving off negativity, even if they are not in a good place themselves. You see, they're, they're triggers. And sometimes you feel like reacting back or saying something back. It's not always the best reaction. Sometimes you have to, I know. But if you can get yourself into this place of knowing who you truly are, then you won't even be faced with those type of challenges anymore. Again, you've got to keep lifting your vibration as much as you can. Any triggers, there will be less triggering as the time goes on as you keep working on you. But you are worth it. What a great card to uh, to get. You are worth it. So, Feminines, the next one is Amplify Your Positive Emotions. That's number seven. Opened on the exact page again. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'll read you this. There is a ripple effect of energy flowing from you. Be positive. Simply staying happy and sending that happiness out from your heart will benefit those around you. As you adjust your motives and attitudes, this energy flows from you in concentric circles, affecting all of your desires and beliefs. There is a chance to bring a good fortune and influences to all of the events in your life. As circles also represent cycles, know that you are continually going in and out of cycles, growing and changing. With every ending comes a new beginning. Trust that the positive energy you radiate will attract what you wish again what a beautiful card amplify your positive emotions feminines these are great cards and i hope this right now is lifting your vibration because remember we had this card here the balance the flow we've got three fires we've got the knight the page and the nine here this is all about exciting things are coming in You've been standing up for yourself. And these two cards are absolutely beautiful as well. I feel I'm going to pull one more here. This one is Breakthrough. Let's have a look. Number eight. Uh, number eight, Breakthrough. These are just absolutely beautiful pictures. Feel confident that things are falling into place. Just as a seedling breaking through the surface of the earth, you too are going to experience an emergence. The efforts of your hard work will become evident and you will begin to see the difference all of that labour and time you have invested has made. Count your blessings. You are gifted with a creative touch and the ability to generate new and wonderful things. Take a moment to feel proud of yourself for all that you have accomplished. beautiful beautiful messages they really are feminines you are doing amazingly well you must keep working on you keep working through the triggers when they come up you are doing amazingly well and things will only get better as you can see from here exciting energy is coming in things will only get better and um You've been doing the work, you know, you've been sticking up for yourself, you've been standing your ground, you've been believing in yourself more. Amazing work. You have come a long way. So I'm just going to see my guides want to show me anything else. Let's have a look. Is there anything else you want to show? 
want to show and then we go into this book which we normally finish on the daily teachings by Rhonda Byrne the secret still an amazing book and I've had this probably about six years now and I've used it quite a lot in my videos so we're just going to have a look any messages for divine feminine if there's anything okay so it's pretty straightforward that we just opened up to this page we don't receive wisdom we must discover it for ourselves after a journey that no one can take for us or spare us, which is true. And that's by Marcel, I think it says Proust, 1871 to 1922, In Search of Lost Time. I'm just going to read this other paragraph here, which is on day 274. We're not able to see everything in our future, but the supreme power of the universe can see every possibility. In terms of relationships, you may be convinced that someone is right for you when in truth they may not be. You may be asking for a harmonious, happy, loving relationship with a particular person. But if the universe can see that you are not able to have that happy relationship with that person, the universe will not bring them to you. That's very interesting, but it's very true. Ask for a harmonious, happy, loving relationship and then allow the universe to deliver your perfect partner to you, whoever they may be. It's very true this. It is very true because I've done a lot of research on this and I did find that what this paragraph is saying is, is what I found also. And it did resonate with me because you could ask for somebody who you feel is your perfect match and everything feels right with it and they do not come along no matter what you stick on the vision board of them, no matter what you ask for, no matter what you write down or any cosmic ordering, it is right that unless it's for your highest good, they don't come in, they don't manifest. So this is a really good one. If you do want to um, get this book, it is a secret daily teachings by Rhonda Byrne. Um, it's just amazing. You know, there's just little chapters in here and they just really kind of kickstart the day. If you get a chance to read them, I try and read them every other day if I can. Um, but I do read it regularly, you know. So, but this is very true. So I'd like to say to all the feminines out there, you are doing amazingly well. Uh, keep on with the journey. Do not give up. You've come so far. You've always got yourself to tap into for guidance. Do not feel alone. Do not feel lost must meditate if you do feel like that because you can connect in with your higher self and the higher self knows which way to go which is the best route the best path for you on your journey so never feel alone feminines if you want to leave a comment please do i'd love to know where you are on your journey and if these messages have been helpful uh, it'd be really interesting to know and for us feminines to connect with each other so please do leave a comment um if you do like this video please like it I'd love for you to share it if you think other people may benefit from this and also subscribe. I'd be really grateful. I will stop it there. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will speak to you all very soon.